Hi everybody, it's Rose. I'm very excited today to show you all a cute little hair transformation. Um, I've partnered with Overtone Hair Coloring Conditioner and it's been one of my favorite products um, for the last year or so. They have sent me their Golden Brown Natural Hair Color um, Everyday Conditioner and then their Deep Treatment. The deep treatment is gonna work as like a dye um, to make it last a lot longer and then deep condition and help your hair stay healthy. So rather than like a normal dye, this will help improve your hair rather than damage it. And then this is more for, you know, everyday conditioning and then color maintenance to keep your color vibrant and beautiful. Okay, so forgive me, I don't know if this is like Spanish, like a quiz, or if it's like Aquis or Aquis or Aquis or I don't know how to say this brand and I'm so sorry. And Aquis Prime has sent me their gorgeous hair towel. That way while my hair is drying um, and while it's soaking in the hair dye um, the con in the conditioner, I can wrap my hair in this and keep it all safe and not get it all over my face or my clothes. Without any further ado, let's change this hair color. So I'll like turn around so you can see the color. My hair is mostly really dark brown. I just have a few little blonde highlights here and there. <laughs> One of my favorite things that Overtone always sends you is, <laughs> it looks like a condom, but it's um, like scared of stains, wrap it up. <laughs> so it's actually just, you know, cute little disposable gloves. That way you don't get hair dye all over your hand. Because last time I did this, I did not use gloves. I used pink and my hands were pink for a little while. I mean, it came out very easily, but my hands were pink for a day. As a makeup artist, like I always get my hands dirty, so I don't really care, but I'm gonna use them. They are huge gloves. They are big enough for literally anybody's hands or, you know, most people's hands probably. Might be too big for some, but you know, they'll protect your little hands. I should have taken off the gloves to open this. <laughs> It always has the little seal. Let's go ahead and peel that off. I'm actually excited to see what the color is. A beautiful chocolate brown. Also, the smell, I cannot get over. It's like this beautiful spearmint, like really sweet, fresh spearmint smell. Ooh, I was not expecting that to be so golden underneath. That's cute. Let's go right in. <laughs> this color gonna look so much better in the hair. I always grab a generous amount because I have a lot of hair. And let's just go one section at a time. I always start from the bottom, bring it up to the roots. My roots are really dark, so I doubt it'll really show up in my roots. But let's bring it up anyway. Ignore my little mullet. I used to have an undercut, so you know, that's just growing out, so. That's really dark. None of that is dyed, so I think that will be fine. I don't think I really need to color that. It's really shown. Okay, so let's take some more. Let's go to the other side. This side is way thicker, so I'm gonna do it in much smaller chunks. Get the tip, bring it up to the root. Small section, get the tip and bring it out into the root. My hair is definitely damaged from bleaching it and you know now I'm in I went from a really humid place in the PNW now I live in Arizona where it's super dry so my hair is just dry and damaged and I'm very excited to be able to use this again because now my hair is going to be nice and healthy and happy after. I wear makeup a lot and I wash my face religiously. So I feel like the sides of my hair, like right here, are always a little bit like gray and ashy. So let's dye those areas a little bit, get some more brown in those. If you have all really light hair or if you're like coloring your hair like a dramatic color, like black or something, like if you're just going darker than your natural hair, I would section your hair very um, strategically and use much smaller sections than I'm using 
and you know just be a little bit smarter about your placement but honestly this is like a lighter brown than my natural brown so i just don't think it'll really show up on my dark brown so i'm really just making sure i get those blonde areas of my hair and that's really my main concern so i'm just gonna go and grab a big little chunk and get all of those tips again Perfect. Love it. <laughs> Overtone recommends keeping your hair coloring conditioner in for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm extra. I want to just leave it in for about 30 minutes. My hair is dry and damaged, like I mentioned. So I want it to get the maximum results of color and maximum results of conditioning and just give it all the nutrients it can. So I'll be back in a half hour. I'm going to go shower. I'll be right back. This is what it looks like right after I've showered. I can already tell that it looks a little bit darker on the ends. I'm back and I am so in love with the new hair color. So I think that it just fades perfectly into my darker brown. It looks so much more natural and well blended. Um, it's just like this perfect like chocolatey brown to go along with my espresso colored hair. I, I'm obsessed. I am so in love. Everyone does like these like shaky videos, so I'll shake it. <laughs> I don't know why people do that, but it's a thing. I really wanna see how my dark brown looks in the sunshine now that I've put in the golden brown. So let's go look. It looks so beautiful. It's nice and healthy and shiny. It feels so soft. Thank you, Aquas and Overtone. I love my new hair color so, so much.